Hey all, Pastor Nate Buckner. Can't wait to jump into the good news of Jesus with you here. Recently I've been taking a look, uh, studying about the fact how, how Jesus is both God and man. And the more that I read about it, I mean, the, the more that my mind just begins to start swimming. It, it, it is so complex. It, it just is impossible for us entirely to grasp onto and to understand. Yet it's still the truth. To understand the absurdity of, of the fact that God became a man, that he took man upon himself, Jesus did. Think about it in this sense. Imagine what it must be like if a human being were to take on the very nature of a dog, and yet to remain human the entire time too. Would it all of a sudden mean now that you have fur all over your body? Would it mean that uh, instead of being able to speak that you can only communicate through barks and through woofs? Does it mean that some of your sheep, uh, your 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 teeth are, are are sharp or not? I that line of thinking is just crazily absurd. It makes no sense. Why are we even going down that kind of line of logic? I, I'm doing so to show you the absurdity of God taking on our nature. It is so impossibly crazy. This thought. I mean, as crazy as what it is for us to think of ourselves taking on the nature of a dog, it's even crazier for, for God to be able to take on the nature of us, of, of mankind. Because at least there are some similarities between us and dogs. We're both created. We, we both have certain attributes that, that apply along the same lines. Yeah, there are differences, obviously, but the differences are much more minuscule than that between us and God. God is a, a, a being that was before time ever existed. God has always been. God is eternal. God is all-powerful. God is all-knowledgeable. God is all, all, all uh, able to understand what exactly is happening out there in the world. Compare that to us, a, a person who actually has this flesh and blood, a person who is weak, who is frail, a, a, a person that has a beginning. Uh, how could God ever become man? God, God knew exactly what needed to be done. He did it in such a way that it was perfect, that he remained God, that he remained man, and, and yet he was able to do this in a way that, that went ahead and was able to win for you salvation. We can't understand that. I mean, we can talk about it, we, we can say what is wrong along these lines, but to be able to grasp that entirely, that's impossible for us to do, at least at, at this moment. Why am I talking about this at all, though? I mean, what, what, what's the good news thought behind this? The point is this. If God can figure out a problem so complex as that, to take the deity and allow the deity to be able to bring upon it itself, to, to receive the, the nature of humanity, if God can understand that, don't you think that God can understand what's plaguing you? I mean, you might not be able to understand where the next step forward is, but God gets it. And maybe it's not with you that you're struggling right now. Maybe it's with a loved one, a child, or a spouse, or just a friend. You, you, you've been praying for them, you hope that something good happens along the lines, but you, you just don't know what to do for them. God gets it. God knows, God understands. And you know, God's actually doing something about it. He is controlling the very events that are happening and transpiring in this world for the good of that loved one or for the good of you or whoever it is that is struggling. God is setting everything up perfectly for the good of his church, like he always does. God can understand the, the most complex of problems. God knows what's happening with you. God will be there and help you, whatever the issue. Amen.